I thought I'd start by showing you where we've come from. This is an actual video recording from the early 1930s of a singer, Betty Bolton. Uh, it was recorded on the Baird Phonovision system. This is 30 line resolution and notice that the lines are vertically oriented. Well, why do we need more resolution? Well, it's ongoing progress. Uh, John Logie Baird's first pictures had eight scanning lines and then he had 30. The first high definition requirement said that high definition should be not less than 240 lines. Um, in production and post-production, you can do reframing, you can do e image stabilization, possibly you can record 3D better. And uh, if you're in a movie theater, everyone from there forward can make out 8K resolution. Everyone from there forward can make out 4K resolution. And even this person all the way in the back of the theater can make out 3K resolution. That's 50% better than 1080p. Um, now, this is based, that picture that I just showed, is based on 2020 vision. 2020 vision is something, a concept that was developed in 1862 by the person who came up with these things called optotypes, um, a Dutch ophthalmologist by the name of Snellen. And his definition of 2020 is if you can make out a feature that's one arc minute, then you have 2020 vision. Well. Um, detail falls with distance. As you get away from your television set, you can make out less detail, but it also falls if you get too close because then it's like not being able to see the forest for the trees. So the peak is going to be where the pixels match your visual acuity, and every viewer has different visual acuity. But a viewer with 20-20 vision would have 30 cycles per degree or 60 lines per degree. Old NTSC television had about 480 active lines, uh, that means eight degrees, you divide 60 into 480. And if you work out the trig, that works out that you should see maximum resolution at a distance of 7.15 times the screen height. And for 1080 line HD, it would be 3.16 times the screen height. But people turn that definition of ideal resolution into that's how far people sit from their television sets. And in fact, People sit from their television sets a distance that's determined by their room size and their furniture. <laughs> and it has nothing whatsoever to do with the definition of the television set or the size of the television set. It's where that couch is. And if you have a flat panel display, it actually gets bigger. This nine foot distance was determined by a study that uh, Bernie Lechner at RCA Laboratories did. So it's referred to as the Lechner distance. At about the same time, Richard Jackson at Phillips Labs in Red Hill, England, came up with uh, distances was three meters. So whether it's nine feet, three meters, doesn't matter. But on that basis, there seems to be a lack of need for HDTV uh, because a 25-inch 4 to 3 TV set is 15 inches high. And at nine feet, an eight-degree viewing angle subtends 15 inches. Uh, to see all of 1080 lines, you would have to have a 70-inch TV at a 9-foot viewing distance. But viewers don't notice resolution. Have you ever had a viewer come up to you and say, oh, my, what spectacular resolution on that TV set? No, they say, what a sharp picture. And picture sharpness is a function of both contrast and resolution. So if resolution is increasing in this direction, contrast increasing in this direction, I've drawn in a typical modulation transfer function curve. In this case, the modulation is going from white to black or black to white. And the psychological sensation of sharpness is proportional either to the square of the area under the curve, if you're a fan of auto shade at RCA laboratories, or the actual area if you're a fan of uh, Zeiss and Ari. But either way, it is dependent on the area under the curve. So here's some real MTF curves to give you an idea what this is like. These are two old Canon still cameras. The only difference between them is a 14% linear increase in the sensors. The difference between regular definition television and HD is 225%. The difference between HD and 4K is 213%. And uh, this may be a little tough with the lights on now, but, but you can probably make out, even if you can't read any of the text or the details over here, you can probably make out that the thing on the left is sharper looking than the thing on the right. And that's just a 14% linear increase. 
So I like the headline on this when PC World came out with this uh, about a week ago. Panasonic's new TV prototype is too big for your living room. This is an 8K TV that Panasonic showed. It's a 145-inch diagonal. But even that is not enough if you're looking at 8K. 4K would just be visible uh, at the Lechner distance on a 143-inch TV. So this would be fine for 4K. For 8K or super high vision, they want you to have a 0.75 height viewing distance. Well, if you're nine feet away, 0.75 height viewing means your TV has to be 12 feet high. How many in the room have 12 foot ceilings? Okay, and if you want the full definition with 2020 vision, then you'd have to have a 157 inch high TV or a uh, 27 foot television. Not 27 inch, but 27 foot. So here's a compromise. Uh, those of you who do production may be familiar with HD Cam or DVC Pro HD. DVC Pro HD, I'd like to point out, is the official format of the 2012 Olympics that are taking place in London. So this compromise is um, relatively acceptable. Full HD is 1920 pixels per line. Sony's HD Cam only gives you 1440, so it's throwing away a quarter of the resolution. DVC Pro HD only gives you 1280, so it's throwing away a third of the resolution. So it's throwing away all of this extra resolution over here, but it's throwing away very, very little area. The bulk of the area under the curve is remaining. So you haven't really tampered with the sharpness. You can get rid of a lot of resolution and retain sharpness. There is, however, one hiccup, and that's when people buy TVs, they tend to stand about a foot in front of the TV instead of nine feet in front of the TV. Um, so maybe you or the retailer wants to provide a 4K or 8K signal for people who are buying TVs, and then people can sell their 4K and 8K TVs and then watch them from nine feet away, at which point they will get very good HD resolution. Thank you very much.